Is there a difference between combined indexes and multiple individual indexes? The general rule is that if a single index can answer all your questions, it is usually the best choice. Let's suppose we have a table containing three columns, department, last name, and first name. An HR application would make use of a combined index like this. You will see that the data is ordered by the department column. Within the same department, data will be sorted by the last name and first name. Let's see which operations are possible given the three column index. Querying all three columns, this is the optimal use case for this type of index. Querying the first and the second columns, there are no restrictions here, it works just as an index defined for the two columns. If we reverse the order of the second column with the first column, we get the same result. No restriction here. If we query only the first column, there are no restrictions here. It works just as an individual index. However, the combined index obviously needs more space on the disk. And finally, if we query only by the last column, PostgreSQL will not be able to use the sorted property of the index anymore. Had you instead created three indexes, for all columns, those could satisfy each individual type of search as well as the combined one. You will most probably end up seeing bitmap scan instead. As a result, the response would probably be much larger and involve more overhead to update than the multi-column version. Therefore, it will be a bit less efficient when a query is selecting all three columns. Finally, it is a trade-off between efficiency and flexibility.